You know, I, I never uh, thought we'd fail, but um, I never thought we'd see this either, and so I'm incredibly thrilled about tonight. It's a, it's a great moment. Um, and so I should begin by giving thanks. Uh, first and foremost, <clears throat> to Fred Malik, to Norm Coleman, who gave me the chance to do this, which was my dream, and which would not have happened without them. And I will always be in your debt, and I thank you so much. Try to keep it together. Um, and um, to my wife, Beth Robinson, who um, puts up with more than any human being on the average day. Uh, and uh, actually, a, a standing ovation is more appropriate, but that's okay. Um, uh, and, and during the birthing of the American Action War, I put up with more than anyone. Um, and, and so I, I will just be honest and say, I, I don't see how it could have gotten done without Beth. Uh, to Someone who's not here tonight, who is uh, literally keeping a, a young lady alive, uh, having given birth to her a few weeks back, uh, Cameron McCosh, who was my partner in crime in starting this. <laughs> who survived sharing a desk with me in a borrowed office at Ken Keyes' Federal Policy Group, um, and then fled to Germany to recover. <laughs> and, and to her successor, Sarah Hale, who you saw in the video and who has uh, uh, been around tonight, uh, Cameron and Sarah have run the forum. It, 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 I, I can make no pretense at being a day-to-day -day manager, and they have made it great, and I thank them. <laughs> to the staff, uh, to the interns who come voluntarily, very weird, um, <laughs> to all our alums uh, who have been asked to do ridiculous things at hideous hours on heroic timetables and who have never let us down. I thank you all. And then to everyone in this room. Uh, everyone in this room made it possible. Uh, some of you gave us money. Uh, some of you gave us data. Uh, some of you gave us ideas. Some gave us advice and, and insight. Uh, some gave us all of those things. Without it, we don't survive. And so, everyone here, give yourself a round of applause. This is a night for you. And, and to our, our, our special guests, I thank the speaker for taking time out of his busy schedule to appear on this podium. Uh, I thank Maria for, for traveling down and saying nice things about me. Um, uh, we'll, we'll thank Charles, Charles Krauthammer for his uh, words of wisdom in a, in a little while. Um, th those are very special things, but I, I do want everyone to also take a moment and give a round of applause to Caitlin Wise and to Sarah Hale, who more than any other two people made tonight possible and worked so very, very hard. They're right over here. So as you've heard, uh, the genesis of this was, was in the McCain campaign, um, where I came to the conclusion that the ideas of, of freedom, freedom and the ideas around good, solid uh, private enterprise, we're losing the battle of public relations and that we were not effective in articulating to the American people how that would make them better off, how the very things that have made this the most powerful economy that the world and the globe has ever seen would help them. They had lost faith in, the, in those ideas. And, and I, I wanted to, to rectify that somehow. And um, I'd been involved in, in ideas my entire life. I was a college professor um, where idea production is, is ostensibly the name of the game. But I became convinced of two things. Uh, number one, sales were important. Production's fine, but you, you have to sell these ideas. They don't sell themselves. And that someone needed to be advocating on their behalf every day. And that the consequences were very high. You know, when I was a, an, literally an ivory tower academic, if we did bad things, it, it, it just didn't sink in on me how many Americans suffered. And on the campaign, you could see in the town halls and you can see in the faces of people every day at those campaign stops how much things mattered. And having realized that it mattered, it, it seemed important to do something about it. Um, 
First thing I did was lose. Thought we should do something else. Um, <laughs> and so the, the vision of the American Action Forum was literally to create an entity that would advocate using the, the modern techniques of communications, polling, um, message testing, on behalf of ideas, not candidates, but ideas, things that would make America better. Let's discover what they are, and let's use those techniques, let's make the effort to, to advocate on behalf of good ideas, and to do it in a way that wasn't based on ideology, our ideas are better, so the speaker said, no, we have the facts, and, and we're gonna do it on the basis of the, of the reality on the ground, every day, in every way, on every policy issue, as fast as possible, as accurately as possible. So my megalomania was very well developed. And um, that's what I wanted to do. And I ran around um, telling rich people, this is what I want to do. And they said, that's really nice, Doug, great. Um, but, but no one was going to risk the, their capital on this startup. And so that, that's where Norm and Fred became so essential. I forget who it was who sent me to them. Someone said, look, you need to talk to them. They have an idea that's very similar, and, and you should go talk to them. And so I was sent, was it you, Bobby? Yes. Bobby Kilberg deserves credit for this. Stand up, Bobby. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I called him up and I said, you know, I, I need to talk to him. And, and from that shotgun marriage came this, and um, I view that as an incredibly uh, uh, important moment in my life, and, and I hope an important moment in the battle over uh, good policy in America. But as, as Fred said in the video, and as I would say, you know, we're doing good for a five-year-old, but um, the vision's not yet complete. We, we have a lot of work to do. Um, there, are, there are many challenges that face this nation. I would argue we're entering the most crucial moment in, in uh, modern history, where we face challenges abroad, we face challenges at home. They are some of our own making in, in, the, in the budget world, some of the making of our enemies in the world of national security and defense. Um, we want to, be, to both be ready to, to fight the policy wars in those, in those moments. We want to be capable of, of deploying whatever it is the state of the art to, to win those battles. And um, I want to be here at the 10th anniversary able to tell you that we have not just started an organization that is making a good argument, that we started an organization that made an argument good enough that we changed the laws of this nation, changed the outcomes for the next generations, and made a big difference. And that's the vision, and that's what we have to do next. And that's what we're gonna do.